Yo, Louis Colazo, man, at the end of his career is fighting for his, for his career, really. With one arm. Like Timothy Bradley and Andre Ward, they didn't even realize that he had one arm. That he was fighting with one arm. Like Joe Tessito had to tell him. Right now it's the eighth round. Of a 10 rounder. This guy Abduka Korov. He started fast, man. He's a step ahead as far as like hand speed goes. But he's getting hurt to the body from early on. And really, Louis, he's trying to. He tried to wear down this dude, you know what I mean? But he hurt his left hand, man. I think in the sixth or at the end of the fifth round. To be honest, man, at that point, he also started gassing a little bit. Taking too many punches. He's kinda in that in that Amir Khan form when he was fighting Amir Khan, walking through punches, you know what I mean? But that's what Colazo does because he relies a lot on his reflexes, defensive ability, you know? Upper body movement. He's a veteran. And really I like to watch Louis Colazo. And he's looking for that right hook all along. So it's not that grave of an issue, you know, that his left hand is injured, I believe. It's really more of a bait punch at this point. But he had been like shaking out his left hand for a couple of rounds, you know. Man, his defense is on point. Also his footwork has to be, you know, on the front foot evading the punches that other dude is throwing. I like Luis Colazo. He's not winning this fight, but uh, I like the effort, especially with the hurt hand. While the commentators are talking to Tyson Fury about wrestling, you know what I mean? Just disrespectful, not only incompetent seemingly, Talking nonsense. Timothy Bradley is more focused on sounding entertaining, you know. But with the Teddy Atlas swag that he acquired, that he stole. Outright thievery. And I'm talking about Colazo. And I'm talking about whatever, you know. That's his catchphrase. Going into the ninth round, Colazo still, man, ah, God. Can't commit on the left hand, so whenever he really tries to throw that shit, man, he's seemingly vulnerable. His defense is kind of thrown off by that, I feel like, you know, anticipating feeling pain by throwing that punch. Basically trying to work off the jab, bait with the left hand and try to load. Really, the left puts him in position to load the right hook. But entering into that zone, man, he's mostly either turned or at the same time like hit with a combination, man. He's not getting hurt by this guy, Colazo. Colazo has a good chin. Oh, falling off balance here, Colazo. Whenever he commits with the left hand, he's getting countered. And the other dude, he's switch hitting also. Other dude himself has a good chin, you know, one hit. Doesn't stay there long enough, you know, to take too much punishment or get caught in an exchange. He's out of there pretty much. Consistently turning and stiff arming, which Colazo is complaining about to the ref. Oh, nice little left hook there by Abdukakorov. And he's doing a good job, like pivoting after throwing that left hook. He throws a right hand and a left hook and pivots. Switch hitting. He has good feet, that guy. Yeah, Colazo has to accept punishment to get in there, you know, to throw his punches. Oh, good right hook by Colazo. He kind of fainted, following the right hook and then just threw that shit, man. Caught Abduka Kurov in between throwing his combination, or his punches. Ugh. Oh, that's so nasty, man. There's one dude behind Tyson Fury just finger licking. He licked every fucking finger of his hand, man. <laughs> that dude, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, man, Colazo here in the 10th round still shaking out his left. I don't think the commentators are really watching the fight. I don't agree with anything they said. They're so focused on Colazo being a veteran and all that type of shit. Oh, another big right hook by Colazo. They're not watching the fight, man. Calling different punches. Like when Abduka Kurov lands something, they're calling Colazo. When Colazo lands, man, they're calling Abduka Kurov's punches. Silly geese. Yeah, I don't know that Colossus really used to using his jab also to get inside, you know, he relies on, like I said, man, reflexes, upper body movement, dipping, dodging, all that. He's counting on you making a mistake, although he's pressuring, Colossus isn't that type of fighter necessarily, you know, he wants to catch you opening up with his feints, with his pressure, he wants you to actually lead. Man, rough tumble. 
collage went to the canvas, seemingly twisted something. Oh, what happened? Oh, big cut? And Colas is not getting up! Wow, what is going on? I guess they clashed heads, they're saying. Oh, Colas is hurt! What happened there? Oh, man. Let the man sit, he can't even get his balance. They're watching the eye, big cut on the... Oh, the eye is badly cut. He's cut on both eyes, actually. Both eyelids. Right under the eyebrow. Ugh. They clashed heads seemingly and then Abdul Kakurov kind of put his weight on... Oh. The whole fight, his head is getting pulled down, you know what I mean? His head got pulled down, that's why he came up like that. And was on the bad end of it also, Colazo. Fight ends. In the tenth. Back to the veteran stuff by Andrew Ward talking about Colazo. <laughs> Probably having scar tissue and shit, you know. Which, uh... It's true, Mikulazo, usually he gets kinda busted up in his fights. Because he also doesn't really keep his hands up, and he should. Oh man. The hell is he going down for? Why is Kulazo going to his knees and shit? Anyway, this fight is over, man. As far as I see it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, give me the scores, man, so I can end this motherfucking video. Abduka Kurov, man. He was tested, definitely. There was more on Kolazo, they're giving credit to Abduka Kurov for taking the tactic of boxing. I guess he's usually an aggressor, but Kolazo made that decision, you know. He went at him. He felt weakness, some, some type of fragility, but he was stripped of one of his weapons, man. And he's an older dude. And even before that, like I said, he was gassing a little bit. But he found himself back into it, actually, Colasso, but unanimous. There you go. Alright. Unanimous decision up to Kokurov. Half decent fight, you know what I mean? The commentary kinda. I don't know. Spoiled it for me, but. Anyway. Peace out.